Well, both teams have finished their homes and they've both done amazing jobs. I think it's going to be very close. Now it's up to the judges to decide which team will win and which team will lose. Interior stylist, Sabella Court. Neil Whitaker, editor of Bell magazine. And this week, our guest judge, famous interior designer, Greg Natale. Well, they've nailed the black and white thing. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Taking it all in, taking it all in. I know there were a few nice fireplaces in this house, but yeah. that faux wood effect. I'm not getting that wood. No. But why yeah. would you do this in here? Why wouldn't know. we have this just white or black? Or I don't know, or well, something that ties to, in. You want it to go away. I mean, it's certainly dramatic when you walk in. It does, it's sort of more together. Of the you know, you look at those pictures and you look at the black and white, and it's kind of almost there. Almost not there. Not quite. This is obviously the music room. Wow. Yeah, I think we know what this room is. That's cool. That's cool. I like the wall. Cool. That's Richie. Your couch is good. It's all right. Oh, look, couch is I think a black leather Chesterfield suits this room down to the ground. Well, this was the spare bedroom. Yeah. Where the mother slept. I wonder where she's going to sleep. <laughs> Not in here. This room is really cute. Yeah, it is. For a tiny little room. But it's, it's been crazy. done really well. It is crazy. I should think that those stripes open it up a bit, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, do you? It reminds yeah, me of a little they do, boutique they do. hotel. The little styling touch yeah. with the tray that says this is a guest room. I think yeah. that's nice. It's cute. Well, they've definitely opened it up. I have. Yeah. This is cool. I think it's great, all this. Don't you think, this island? That island is a continent, it's not just an island. <laughs> This has made a really awkward space into something that functions. Do you know what, for the first time in this competition, I like the fact that they've um, broken the mould. Semi-final, week seven, and we're seeing a different way of thinking. Does it look we? nice from yeah, down there? It does, there it does. Really there. Good. Well, it's a really nice proportion kitchen, don't you think? Yeah. I like this. I like it. I love this frame on the mirror. Yeah. That's, that's cool. I'm amazed that all this was done in four and a half days because I wasn't expecting bathrooms and kitchens and moving walls and all that sort of well, stuff. I do a lot of stuff. No, I didn't realise that. I didn't realise that. So I think that's pretty amazing. Oh no, amazing. it's very impressive. Mm -hmm. Great colour. This is gorgeous. I love the batik on the walls, and I like that it's torn. He's very clever. Look at the tiles. They must have been, I'm guessing, the inspiration. they're original. It's beautiful. I'd be very happy to sleep in this room. Yeah, me too. It's got a nice, calm feel. Yeah. I love it all. I love it. I love the bed head, I love the lamp, I love the little table. And I love what they've done in here. What they haven't done in there is that they've introduced this green. There's a nice mix of textures. And, and patterns, and then ideas like the wicker against the denim, yeah. and then the whitewash Moroccan-esque tables and with the desk. ceramic, and then a and modern, a really a modern desk. desk. What a it's desk. fantastic. Yeah, it now this is what I call a living room. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. I don't know. I think it's um, it's a bit bulky. It kind of dominates the room. Doesn't yeah. It? Amazing photographs on there. <laughs> Waiting for um. A flat screen TV, do you think? <laughs> I think it might be. <laughs> I, don't dis I don't dislike no, it. No, I don't. I think it would have been nicer with a bit of a skirting, to be honest. It's a bit of a surprise because yeah. that doesn't strike me as being indicative of either of the guys' no. taste. This is a little Annie. I like this grey. This is great. This yeah. is really Love nice. It. Like cement. Probably yeah. cement. It's well, really nice. The texture in it. It's a combination, I think, for me, of the unusual colour palette and this fantastic floor. floor. It feels like a very expensive kitchen. I think this cheapens it. Oh, yeah, well, no, I, don't I don't agree. It cheapens it. I don't agree at all. So, I don't because know. it's such an unusual colour. This is fantastic. Mm, Look at the beautiful. texture that they've used on the wall there. It's beautiful. I'm pretty sure that's an exterior cladding that's used on buildings and they've painted it. I love it in that colour. I love so the texture. I. Mm. And I like this bulkhead and separating <laughs> it. These guys have really pushed it this way. They have, they and look, really all the new have. things we're seeing. Look at this sink. Well, 
thought this is a big change. The boys are clever. I like the walnut floor. So let's just remember, this was Can't I know, my head round it. white so goods. Different. So they've got like a whole other living room now. Quite incredible. I'm very impressed. Coming up, Judgment Day for our four finalists. But when the judges make their final decision today, two of you will be going home. Here we are at the semi-final. I have to say to both teams, you've worked so well this week. I'm so impressed with what you've done with these homes. So now for the serious part. As you all know, this week it's sudden death and two designers are going home. Judges, it's over to you. Chantelle and Richie, we're going to start with your house first. Okay, well, we'll, we'll start with the, um, the main bedroom. Look, guys, there's no doubt about it. When you walk in the room, there's a bit of wow factor going on. You know, that black and white theme hits you between the eyes, and yeah, there's a bit of drama, and there's a bit of your trademark sense of humour. Um, but it's just such a shame about that fireplace. The original fireplace was kind of very damaged and and quite old and obviously it was a, a feature, wasn't it, that was kind of really, really worn and, and with the new style. You don't think the fireplace could have been restored? I don't know, it became a bit of an issue for us. Nat hated it. She didn't want it in there. That was the first thing she wanted out. She said, I want that fireplace gone, no matter what. I think that if you found the right stonemasons, it could have been cleaned up and restored. And I think that the new fireplace is probably the thing that's letting the whole room down. All right, well, let's walk through the hallway and discuss that and then through to the music room. The flooring choice was good. I love the little lights that you'd set into the flooring. The black ceiling was great. I was really impressed with the amount of attention that had been paid because there was really beautiful architectural detail and I thought you had picked up on that um, beautifully. Who, whose choice was for the light? The light? Yeah. <laughs> we saw it a lot and we're like, we have to ring, see how much it is, see if we can get it in the budget and we got it. <laughs> Did you like it? <laughs> Look, I, I, personally I'm not a fan, but I think it really worked in yeah. there. Yeah. It worked. It worked. Yeah. yeah. I think it was like Goth rock. rock. It was fun. It was a real den. You'd created a real sort of muso's den in there. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of a separate living space for yeah. the guys, you know. So let's talk about the guest room. I loved it. Mm. So did I. I love this room too. So did I. Mm. I don't know, I almost wish this was the master room. But I loved it. It was a room you wanted to actually stay in, even though it was so small. I mean, as we go through the competition now, we sort of find rooms, don't we, where we actually want to linger for a while. Yeah. And this was one of them. Well, let's move on to the larger living space. So you put new flooring throughout? Throughout the whole space, yeah. It was really impressive and, and very brave, I thought. Chantel, I'm assuming you had quite a hand in the kitchen. You're a bit of a kitchen whiz. Well, we both worked in all of the spaces throughout this. Um, we, we started in the bathroom and then worked our way into the kitchen and because we were doing this kind of pushing the boundaries this week. Well, it was a brave move putting such a large island in such a small space. It had a lot of tweaking, didn't it? Like, that was one of the major decisions on Tuesday. We were going backwards and forwards, which way to put it, how to actually utilise it so it had all the storage that Jed wanted and easily accessible and things like that. I thought it was an amazing kitchen. Um, I really did and I thought you did a fantastic job. Well there's only one room to go. Should we oh my discuss gosh. the bathroom? The drama of walking in there and having the floor to ceiling black tiles. That was good. That was good. good. The choice of black grout was nice. Yeah. And I love the, the humour of the mirror in the bathroom. Yeah the frame oh, yeah, imposed onto the mirror. That's great. There's a real his and hers thing going on in that house, but the, the black and white theme really unites it. Yes, so it does. Uh, congratulations on that. 
Well done, guys. Thank you so much. It's a brilliant house. I'm so proud Thanks. of you. Jason, Darren, come on up. Let's start with the main bedroom. Where did the blue come from? We just came up with the night before and I thought this would be great. We've used a lot of um, browns and beiges. Because I, I thought it came from the tiles and the well, fireplace. Well, yeah, that, that's what I, I, I like that. Yeah, yeah, no, it was blue in the tiles, but we actually had come up with the concept before hoping that it would work. Because it was lovely to see a subtle reference there just to begin with because that first impression of walking into a master bedroom, first room in the house. It was lovely to see that dramatic theme that was then continued. I'm never usually a fan of the pine floorboards, but it actually really worked with the blue. The way that colour throws onto the floorboards really knocks back that yellowy orange and yes. sort of made it a, yeah. a much more bearable colour. Yeah, it did. Good work. Great work. Let's move on to the next bedroom. Guys, when I look at these photographs again, I think this is, for me, pretty much a perfect room. And I think this is the most sophisticated styling that I've seen in this competition. All right, let's move on to the larger living spaces. Talk about the joinery. The family definitely wanted a, an entertainment unit with bookshelves. And we weren't sure about it. We, we drew a few different versions because the, the room is quite narrow. Narrow. And originally, I sort of did something that was really sharp, contemporary, close to the wall with a sort of wall hung unit underneath. But we thought that was probably too modern for the house. I think this was probably the thing that let the room down. Mm. I think it was a bit bulky and it didn't have a skirting. I that have to was... agree with Greg. Um, for yeah. me, th this, this cabinet, this joinery didn't work. It felt like it was in the wrong room. Right, let's move on to the kitchen. I, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> it felt really different to any of the other kitchens we've seen in the competition so far. And we've seen some great kitchens. But this one had a really strong vibe about it. It was unusual. But it felt to me like a really serious cook's kitchen. I loved it. I thought, again, the choice of materials mm. in this room, we haven't seen them before, and they were just sophisticated. And using the cement tiles, which had that texture in them without being overwhelming, was just lovely. Neil and Sabella really liked the blue two-pack wall. I actually thought it was the wrong colour. I felt like it just cheapened the kitchen. It wasn't classic enough, that, that blue two-pack wall. So what else do you suggest could have gone there instead of the blue? I think it was the wrong shade of blue. Let's move on to the bathroom. Quite a few structural changes in the bathroom. The cladding was great. It was, wasn't it? It was That's really rude. lovely to bring what was happening from the rest of the house into this space mm. and make it a room of interest, super sophisticated, and all the choice of hardware was great. It was lovely to see a sink we haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So just when you thought it was all over, open that door, and here we go with this. I think Brad said this is the biggest construction we've done in any house so far. Yes, wow. yeah. it looks that way. There were seven walls taken down. It, it actually feels like the house is twice as big now because yeah. that, it, they never used it from that door back. Well guys, I take my hat off to you. I've never seen anything like it in terms of the amount of changes in such a small you know, space of time. Quite incredible. Both teams have worked so well together. It's been a team effort. Team. It yeah. really has. It's great to see. And as you know, when the judges make their final decision today, Two of you will be going home. So thank you to both teams. Please leave us. Coming up, the judges' verdict. This week, the winning house is 